hello there everybody. Uh, it's Mark here on another uh, day of farming. Um, just here at my uh, my um, thingy here, I can't think of the name right at the moment. My conveyor belt. <laughs> Trying to get it moved out of the way. Um, not sure how to hook it up to anything. Um, but I was able just to back the truck up just a tiny bit and push her back so it's out of the way when I need to offload stuff into my, my silo there. Alright, so let's get moving on the day. We've got a, a um, contract to do. So we'll, we'll head down to the shop and get that started. It's a plowing contract over on field 40. Uh, so we should probably take a run over there to see uh, how to get there. Let's take a run over, shall we? So how's everybody doing today? Doing well? Nice sunny day out here. Just cruising along, looking around. Now, uh, we're gonna, oh, we've got the stop sign fixed, I see. Put the blinker on. Uh, I don't see anything coming. Of course, that fence is in the way. Okay, nothing's coming that way, so we're good. All right, now, uh, let's pull over, check the map where we need to get to. Wrong app. There we go. Okay. Uh, we are right here. And the field is right there. Okay. Zoom in some. Looks like there's a road that we can go right here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Go up. All right. Um, cruise control on, nothing's coming, signal. So, if we go down the road a bit here, uh, see a road coming up to the left, but I don't think that's it. That's not the road that I'm looking for. Um, keep going. Is this? I wonder if this is the road. Uh, if it is, we passed it. Uh, okay, there's that farm on the left, on the right there. Oh, that was the road, I think. Well, let's go down a little further here. Okay, looks like we're coming up to the road on the left. Uh, okay, so there's that farm. Put the blinker on. Let's go down this road here. like the road. Dirt road. Hopefully nothing coming that way. Yeah. 
I walked these tracks a while back when I get lost right here. Uh, let's turn the truck off. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a field. Well, that's the reason why he wants to plow, because he let it wither. Okay, well. Uh, okay, back up just a tiny bit and we should be able to get out. Sawmill. All right, let's go back the way we came and head down to the 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 shop and get the equipment and come back up and start the job. Well, since you've seen me take these roads a bunch of different times, I'm going to stop you right here and I'll come back to you when I get the the tractor and the plow to the field. Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, just getting the tractor and the plow over to the field here. Um, was kind of concerned. I didn't know whether or not I was going to be able to get into the train bridge, but it looks like we got enough room there, so that's good. It's a nice little uh, class tra tractor with the treads and a plow. Um, a lumpkin plow. Not sure how long it's going to take us to do this field, but let's get at her. Let's turn the blinkers off. The, I say the blinkers, but I always mean the the light on the top. The the four the yeah the yeah you know what I mean. The light here. Those two lights right there. Those there. All right. Uh, let's switch over to. Uh, make sure we get the, get the right piece of equipment, unfold plow. Okay. Um, should we go up and down? Should we just go around? I'm sure it'll be all fine. Let's put the, make sure we get, pull the camera out there, okay. Uh, lower plow, and let's get moving. Okay, make sure we get nice straight line here, and we're running. So it's 8.30 now, um, probably be almost noon time, oh, I missed a little bit, so I'm going to go back over just a tiny bit, there we go, so it's 8.30 now, 20 to 9. Yeah, probably be noon time. I'm gonna say by the time we up, oh, moving back over again. Probably noon time by the time we get this all finished. Well, might not be noon. Big field, 20 kilometers an hour. Um, I will see. All right. Well, we can, uh, so, uh, uh, let's see, see which room we've got in here. Alright, well, let's just go around in circles and it'll all get plied out when, uh, we turn some lights on see where we're at. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we'll just go around in circles for now and then we'll tidy up any ends that we come across. Okay. 
there's a road there. I wonder where that road goes. Okay, we'll cut around. Yeah, I'm, we could plow it any which way, I believe. And once they actually do the harvesting, that's when they set the soil and get everything all situated. And this is just rehashing the soil so they can get a better fur, better um, organic growth. It's quite the tractor though. Let's pull the camera in. Oh, you can see me there driving along. missing quite a bit on the edges there so I gotta pull over some there we go turn the lights off now we're out of the darkness There goes the train again. Got one strip around done. Now's when we find out how straight we were the first time through. Okay. just a tiny bit so we don't have to rehash anything. There's a little bit of strip there that we missed, but that's alright. We can come back and do that afterwards. rocks. You've seen me do, well, let's do a little couple more strips, I guess. Pull the camera out so we can see what we're doing. So we can get a good view of our turning circle. Go around. Yeah, obviously we want to try to be able to get as much as this in one pass as possible, but we're bit bound to miss some things, so yeah, it's no big deal to come back and kind of fish things up afterwards. Like that corner back there, we're gonna have to come back and do that corner. Imagine there's some strips up here that I've missed. Oh, 
and this corner here we're going to have to come back and do. Uh, let's start turning. Even though this is got treads, it feels quite bumpy. I figured if it had treads it wouldn't be this bumpy, but I suppose the front wheels are, are wheels. <laughs> Not treads. The back, the back axle has treads. All right. So we got just under fifteen thousand. I think this pays out ten grand. Turn some lights off here. Um, still wouldn't mind having my own tractor, but I think we're we're not that close to getting anything yet. Um, we're gonna have to save some money for like fertilizer stuff if we take any fertilizing contracts. Uh, fertilizer, seed, that type of thing. Um, might have to get a barn or some sort of shed to house that stuff. We need a. There's any cheap forklifts. Rain's coming later. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna have to stop while we while it rains. Shouldn't have to, I don't think. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I know they say with like crops and stuff, if you uh, harvest it in the rain, you're gonna lose some because it gets stuck and it gets thrown away, that type of thing. But plowing shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Here's another corner we're going to have to come back and do. Yeah, we're doing pretty good back there. We get a nice straight line. Well, I guess lines don't matter again when they go to plant stuff, they'll recreate everything. Kind of makes you wonder what was in this field that he didn't want to harvest that it all withered. Oh, I'm going to run in the corner. Well, maybe it was a field that had just overgrown. So there's a lot of weeds here. Almost as much weed as there was crop. Almost. Corn over that way, I think it is. Warning signs right in the middle of that, that mirror there on the left. You can't see anything out of it. Nice countryside, though. Come up to another corner. Let's go up just a tiny bit. Crows. Okay, and turn off to the left. I guess we're not missing too much other than like the actual corn. When we come around the corner, the the turn again. Well, we've gone two and a half times ran in ten minutes, so. 
Eh, well, let's just keep on working. Got nothing better to do. Well, I say we have nothing better to do, but if we had our own fields and making our own money with our own crops, then that'd be a lot better, but this is how we need to start out, I guess. Don't have enough money to afford any fields. Um, I could borrow money from the bank, I suppose, but eh, let's... We'll, we'll save that money. I don't even know if I... Well, yeah, they'll probably approve me if I get put my my own uh, place up for for uh, collateral on my truck um, yeah I just lost my train of thought there sorry um, yeah let's keep on trucking just keep on keep on So if it takes us 15 minutes to go around three times, it's probably going to take us uh, probably another 30 times, maybe? No, I wouldn't say 30 times, I don't think. another corner um and it might take a certain well let's keep track so this is going to be the third time we're going around Missing too awful much. Oh, we might be missing more now. It looks like we're going over just a tiny bit. Let's pull the camera out and see how much we've missed. I we missed a scraping back there. That's fine. I'm going to miss a scrape in here. Okay, so this time we'll do it this way. Go more, a little wider than we did last time. That should get the corner inside. Here. So I think if I keep the hood of the engine along the line of where we last did, it should be fine. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Building is oh, that must be the. I bet you. I bet you that's the where we dropped off the oats. a little bit there so go up just a tiny bit more there that should get let's pull the camera out oh yeah that's a little better okay and put the camera camera the tractor back in We got this corner pretty good. Go around. Let's bring in a little 
just a tiny bit so we're maximizing our plow. Well, you've seen me go around a few different times here already, so I think what I'll do is I will uh, let you guys go for now, and we'll come back when I've got this all plowed and ready to go on to the next contract. And welcome back. We're just finishing up the last little bit of the field here. Uh, let's give it a few moments. This should be done. Okay, oh, there's a little bit up there that I missed. Let's go up and complete that. And then we can say the field is done. It didn't take me quite as long as I was expecting. I was expecting to be here until at least noontime, but it only took me a couple hours, which is good. Let's pull the camera out. Make sure we get all of this here. And it took us about uh, 10 to 15 circuits around to get it all, which is, again, it wasn't as, I was thinking like 30, 35 round trips, but. Uh, turn the lights off. I don't know why I turned the lights on. Lower the plow. Just a little bit left here. Did I get all that? Yeah. Okay. Back and up. Try. There we go. And lower the plow. Pull the camera. Out. Let's make sure we get it all. Oh. See, that's what I was worried about there. That should lower the plow. That should get it all there. Oh, just a tiny bit left. Okay, there. Let's pull around, make sure we got the last little bit. Yep, okay, fold up the plow. And now we head back to the the shop and turn the gear in, turn the contract in, see what else is available. Miller Sawmill. Don't want to hit the power box there. I do still have lights on. Okay. Well, the rain hasn't hit yet. Uh, weather report saying it's probably about noon time is going to hit. Uh, I wonder if there's any other jobs that we can get done before then. Quite boring going around those corners. Took me, like I said, I think it's. 15 circuits that I counted, roughly, and a few times I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I don't know why, well, probably because it's boring, but... Oh well, let's start it over with. Take a little breather. Hmm, excuse me, it's not a slept well last night. Alright, we're coming to the road here. Now these treads are rubber, so they shouldn't damage the road that much. Come up to a stop here. Put the blinker on. One car that way. 
Keep moving the curves. Go on it. Make sure we get out around. And on the road we go. Put our, our beacons on. So they know we're a slow moving vehicle. And now we're heading back to the, the sh I say the shop, but it's actually the dealership where we get the contracts and we get new equipment and things like that. What's that post office? The post, two post boxes and it looks like a post fan there. Pull this out so we can go navigate around this corner easier. There. Luckily nothing moves coming. Everything's gonna pull it. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep, there we go. Alright. Okay. Here comes the turn. I missed this early this morning. Must have been thinking about going down to the diner. <laughs> Let's pull in. Uh, kind of blink her off. Drop. I wanted it to drop down here because I got to clean her off, so we'll just bring her down here, I guess. Sit over here. Turn it off. Bridge breaks on. And make sure I got all my stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the, the beacons. Turn the beacons off. There. Okay, let's go turn this sucker in and see what else we can do for fun tracks. All right. Uh, so uh, I guess that was t uh, thirteen thousand after everything's done. Set after it was fourteen grand for the the plowing contract. And after I have to pay the leasing fees for the equipment, it was 13 grand. Uh, so I took on a contract for fertilizing. Uh, I had to buy my own fertilizer. I got uh, 4,000 liters here. This is a 9,000 liter tank. Uh, so I should have more than enough. Now, and this nice blue new hole I'm gonna get in. Turn it on. Okay, make sure everything's working right. Ooh, skylight. Okay, back up. Just gotta hook up the front weight. Ooh. Okay, I thought I hit something, but it must just been the. Okay, and. There. Okay, front weight's on. Now we can back up. Go ahead, come around, uh, turn the beacons on, make sure nothing's coming down the road. Okay, uh, now we can back up, attach to this. Uh, we're going to be able to fill. So, I think easiest just to do this. Try not to damage. Okay, now I gotta get out. Start filling.
All right. Now, bring the map up. Oh, wrong what map? This one. Field. What was it? Field 12? Uh, let's bring the contract information up. Uh, field 12, huh? I know exactly where that is. That's just, I did that uh, second contract on that field. All right, let's head on up there. Well, we know where it's at, so I will see you when I get there. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, I just got to the field here, uh, down at the lower end. So I thought I'd start down here, unfold the... Okay, and not sure... Uh, hmm. Not sure how far this goes out. So I'll have to pull up the camera just to take a look. Uh, set it back. Okay, drop down the cruise control till we know what's going on. Go ahead, turn it on. Okay, let's go up just a tiny bit there. That should be fine right there. Okay. Going pretty good. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, should be pretty good to see where we're going and where we've been. All right. And if I keep the the hood ornament and then one of those tracks, I should be all right. Okay. Not too bad. I like the color blue. Eh, radio doesn't work. That's all right. We don't need the radio. Let's put the camera up. Make sure we're on track. Yeah. Okay. Pull the camera in. And shouldn't take too long. Hopefully we don't run out of fertilizer. Looks like he's got crops in the field already. That was quick. Said it was wheat, I believe. Just gonna leave the stones. Yeah, I guess. Well, he's already got the the crop in the ground. I guess it's not gonna hurt anymore <laughs> until he goes to harvest it. Uh, what are we at? Four percent used, and we're halfway done the first strip. Yeah. I think we should have enough. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it though. The access. Let's pull the camera out and make sure we're on track. A little further. Oh yeah, okay. We're doing good. Just a, just a tiny bit. There. Okay, we're coming to the end. Let's put the camera out. And go up just a tiny bit, get ready to slow and stop. And stop. Okay, back up just a tiny bit. Hopefully 38% done on the field so far. Let's get moving again. And start the process. And we're over just a tiny bit, but that's okay. be fine like that. Okay. Pull the camera in. 
Yeah, hopefully there's no cover on the, the... I noticed that there was an option for a cover, but the farmer didn't have the option for this, so I guess uh, hope we get this done before the rain starts, because I don't think I want to have to deal with wet fertilizer. Hard to see that, right? There we go. Um, hmm. This little strip down here, I think I'm gonna stop when I get this strip. That little strip at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna do that for last. Once I get down to almost. Well, let's we'll see what happens when I get down there. It's kind of hard for me to explain. That little strip down there, I'm going to leave for last. So when I get down to the edge of the field here, I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. Still on track. Let's adjust it slightly. There we go. Yeah, I thought about getting a shed, but then I have to worry about getting this put in. And, and well, maybe uh, they'll buy back the seed. Oh, there's a little bit that I left. Let's go over. Okay. Pull the camera out. Once you get here, uh, right about here, and then turn. Over to the edge as far as possible. And go. Pull the camera. Oh, not over far enough, I don't think. There. It should be right there. Yeah. Okay. And fertilizer. Yeah, I think I might just sell the fertilizer back and... So I don't really have a need for it. Get ten percent of the fertilizer gone, so still no rain yet, that's good. be a lot of crows in this area. Of course, I lived in the city for the last 15, 20 years, so I'm not used to the country life. Maybe this is a normal amount of crows. You try to get down and get some wheat seeds, but... That's another thing. I haven't seen any... Uh, Scarecrows around either. Maybe with the new farming techniques, they don't need the scarecrows. Let's pull this out. Yeah, we're going over too far. There, that should even this out. And we've opened down that strip in the middle. Okay, oh, gonna turn this off now. Oh, don't want to run. Okay, let's just back up a 
the way we came in and not hit the pole, which I think we did hit the pole. Oh, very close. So now, um, there, oh, there, I just hit the pole. Luckily well, it was on the mud guard, so uh, they're pretty sturdy. Uh, yeah, let's do that, and then we can go like this. Yeah, we're losing some, but... And now we get this strip and that strip that we left over there, and we should be done. Just cruise down along here. Now there's that look. Oh, they're just my tire tracks, I think. Let's, let's see. Yeah. There might have been a little strip back that we we'll have to go check that before we finish. Go up a little. See if we can get this done before the rain comes. I think 2000 would have would have did it. Now there's that little strip right there we have to come back and get. I think when I get this section here done, I'll go down to the end and come back up it. all oh miss a tiny bit shouldn't be running over. There. And we lean it right here. Yep, should be good. Make sure. Yep, okay. And we just got this section here to do and uh, we'll finish the the field. For just a tiny bit. Should get good application on the field here. And we want to make sure we get a good application for the farmer so that way he's happy with us. And he'll continue to use us as his uh, go-to guy. And that should be it. Let's turn that off. Uh, pull up our map here. And go over to... Uh, where is it? So there we go. Yeah. 
nice application. All right, so now we can head back to the to the get off the field here quickly as possible. Okay. Now let's head back to the the shop and retrieve our money and return the equipment. Maybe we can speed up a little bit, I think. Um, oh yeah, it was freaked here at this corner. Okay. Oh, I have to remember that it's right across from that little section there. Oh, that's a good thing we waited. Okay, and one coming that way, and another one coming that way, and we're good to go. And yeah, we should be able to do 35. Let's try. Oh, put the beacons on. Make sure people know we're coming. Not that they pay any attention to them or anything, but. Just drive back to the the dealership. Let's, let's see how she handles that forty on the high road. Uh, some places along this stretch is thirty five, and some places is fifty. Let's split the difference. Okay, just make sure we're in the lines, not overstepping any lines. And we got a corner coming up. Let's lower down for the corner. And back to 50, so we're doing 42. We're good. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing I noticed him. Well, we're turning here anyway, so. And let's pull her down around here. Yeah, let's pack her right here, out of the way of everybody. Uh, there's my little boogie up there. Okay, where's the brakes on? Oh, did it again. Oh, they're not on anyway. I must have. Uh, oh, get off the weight. Must have left them on when I was doing the project and turned them off when I was coming down the highway. Oops. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this in and I'll see you here in a few moments. That was pretty good. Um, so I took, turned in the contract, and they gave me ten grand in total for everything. Uh, even sold the excess fertilizer. Uh, so that was pretty good. Now I think I'm going to take a little break. I'm getting kind of hungry. I think I'm going to head down to, uh, well, you know, the cafe, Katie's Cafe, there, and get something to eat. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for accompanying me on my journey.